Yo, 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 YouTube fam. With today's video, we are going to be discussing which anime we would choose to get the Marvel Studios production treatment for a live action film. I know most live action films don't get that much love, especially because of how poorly they're done, but this is going to be our take if they could get the greatest production ever. Uh, there will be some spoilers as we discuss, so just be mindful as you watch this video. And with that said, let's get straight to it. Alright, so with that said, Mike, I'm choosing you! Okay. You're up. So, <laughs> the manga slash show that I'm choosing, and this is definitely a spoiler, is from Seven Deadly Sins. The Demon Arc and the King of Chaos Arc. Uh, I got the chapters in front of me. There's 28 chapters of the Demon King Arc, and there's 9 chapters of the King of Chaos Arc. But... I kind of wanted to do this one because it was like a lot of action like they didn't it was it kind of reminded me of the dragon ball z movie um where like it starts off real slow in like the first you know six seven ten minutes and then they get right to the action and that's kind of how this arc was like it was a lot of fights and a lot of different time periods uh everybody was getting stronger and then i kind of wanted to throw in the king of chaos arc because at the end of that joint like another revelation within the show happened so it was like some things kind of were just sitting in the sideline within the entire show i'm gonna just spoil it because i said it but <laughs> there's a character named arthur and he has this like pet thing that's with him mm. and in the entire show the pet thing seems like a just a thing like that just it's like his assist you know what i mean but in reality yeah. the 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 pet was literally a fragment of chaos so after the little demon king arc ended the fragment of chaos start going crazy and then they had to fight that too so i think that'd be a cool way to end the movie like all together or just to start it out so that the show could pick up from it so that's one i think will be a good movie sound like a depressing ending <laughs> no it's, it's really not <laughs> i was about to think it sounds like this, this this thing that arthur's supposed to be having obviously he's a good guy must have been living his whole life with it and then all of a sudden this thing that you're like friends with all of a sudden you have to try to kill you know you're right it is kind of depressing it's, it's like oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounded like it flowed up it did nah but it was kind of heat because like it was always a bunch of weird stiff stuff like there was a pig talking where like why does this one pig talk but the other pigs don't talk or why does his mm -hmm. backpack have a mouth you know what i mean that was how it was with <laughs> Arthur. And then, like, the jump bites him and is like, all right, I'm about to turn up. And then they got to kill it. But, yeah, Mario, you're right. He was living with that jump for a very long time. Yeah, but you see how that will like, bang at the end of the movie? Because you don't see it coming would, at all. A, that'd be a lot of emotional drive for, like, people that's kind of seeing and be like, oh, dang, this jump you've been living your whole life with. All of a sudden, now you got to fight and actually kill. That's kind of wild. Yeah. World of Seven Deadly Sins is pretty pretty interesting i will say that yeah it's dark all around yeah that's very fact that's real yeah, fact. i do like that i do like that moving if you're if you're down to go next tell yeah us i'm down movie list. yeah all right uh if we talk about um anime i think it'd be live action to get like marvel studios kind of production value i say shield hero we got uh rising of the shield hero we already got the main character with the shield. You know what I'm saying? Throw a little bit of Chris Evans in there, maybe? No? All right. But, um... Mm, I see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I think it'd be done with, like, you know, the, the fighting style. It's all, like, human-type, like, fighting, like, you know, actual fights, like, you know, fist, like, fist-to-fist, -fist, weapon to weapon. Like, the powers would be done a different way, obviously, you know, CGI and all this other stuff. But I feel like it'd be able to be done. And I think it would be having uh, whoever the girl that plays Rattalia could be a kid the entire movie. Because Maybe even though she grows up in the show, day. yeah, even though she grows up in the show, now Fumi only sees her as a kid for most of the show anyway, until he like snaps to it later. So... You wouldn't even have to get a second actress. You could just keep her there, even though she, you know, would be older. And everybody would know, but you know, something along those lines. 
I also feel like swapping between each hero and what they're doing at the time would be like would be like interesting to see just like with you know actual people and who they ended up having to fight because we didn't really see the other heroes i kind of want to see the other heroes like more so see what they were doing outside of just now Fumi. i mean he had, you know what i'm saying he great and all but i just if we were to go like with a different kind of plot point i would want to see more of them the other three even though i think especially at least two of them were kind of jerks but aside from that i did want to see what was going on on their side no i kind of agree with you i think like the most part from the from the anime at least it's like we know that the heroes did stuff and obviously it all kind of turned out bad and not for me was just kind of there to clean up their mess but it would be interesting to actually get more depth into seeing okay them actually being out on their journey with their party that caused all the incidents that then ties back to nine for me cleaning up each specific place that he had to go to or you know save from the stuff yeah, that they and then obviously them, did wrong uh and having all of them be like the main characters instead of not with me and then all of them thinking they strong and 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 the business and the best heroes of all time like just focusing on them and then have you know like i say chris evans come in Save the day when they can't do it. <laughs> I, think, I think that'd be fire. This is America Shield. Did they even explain what they were doing outside of the Shield here in general? So how yeah, could yeah. they protect it? Did they ever explain it? Like what they were actually explain doing? What the? Like what I mean, the other you, bits and pieces of what was going on. Like you see, you see now, Fumi run up on like that uh, that dragon yeah, that I think the spear here sit. Uh, killed or something like that and he was degrading that's how he got that curse power blah, blah, blah. spoiler alert you know but yeah I mean even if they didn't show that would be you know like a the, a little side plot thing like my movie to show it more you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I can see what you're saying yeah yeah no I think that's pretty dope I, could, I definitely think that that could be done if it was the best you know production level for it and all that mm-hmm. uh, but we can move on to the next one Khalil if you think you're down to give us your movie choice like to hear <laughs> well my option i figured i'd go with the very first arc of fire force because i mean it's a well, one is an introductory arc so it's like perfect for a movie per se and then you can build a sequel on that because from the very first mission alone you can already tell okay this will be the hero's call to action and then you get the whole middle where he starts getting comfortable. He's going to end up joining the force. And then I guess you get ended around the soldier games, I could say. Hmm. Yeah, either that or the, uh, the sentinel infernal around there. Gotcha, gotcha. But it'll, it'll just be a first film just to dip their toes in. So is this kind of like you would want to have this movie kind of going into like a, a series thing like this the first absolutely first part of the movie second part you know going on etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah whole storyboard unless you know you, we, we just get the first the first portion of season two because garbage but yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, that was a lot of a well, my man's already thinking nothing. about sequels <laughs> i'm saying <laughs> i see you okay got the full script and everything you already know what you know your joke not gonna play. flop <laughs> so I see you know what they always say about trilogy is typically it's always harder for the the movie after to do as good as the first one does but I mean if you get the Marvel Shrek how production. to drain your dragon pulled it off Fuck. yeah uh, yeah that's true honestly that's, that's, that's very true okay now, I think that'd be I think that could be pretty interesting for a movie though I think that could be pretty interesting It'll be hard to uh, animate, not animate. It'll be hard to um, make it look good because it's fire the entire time. Well, I mean, you know if you're getting that that, that CGI, yeah, it definitely Marvel would be a lot of work. It. They have Iron yeah, Man. Made the Human yeah. Torch. Made the Human right? Torch. Oh yeah. 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 As long as they're even alone. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> just bring out off. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's no. banned from my oh. movie. Oh. Here we go. Michael B. Jordan and Shimra? No. no. Okay. All right. Oh. Yeah, he, he should be. Uh, what's his name? O- Ogun? There we go. We don't he see Ogun until season two. But that's right. That's not until later. Yeah, you right. Oh, yeah, that's right. My bad, Mike. You know, yeah, and and Ogun will get his own spinoff. <laughs> yeah, he could be anybody he want. That's right. right. 
right, but we gonna move wow. on to the next person. And if you if you down, then I'll go after you to finish up the movie. Um, I think I picked Villain Saga for mine. I think Villain Saga season one could be a pretty good movie. I think they probably could start at when Thor's died. Spoiler for people who haven't seen it. But you could probably start with Thor's died and then show like uh Thorfinn's like early life and like uh flashbacks and stuff like that. I feel like from Thor's dying to the rest of it, I feel like it would be a pretty decent movie. In my opinion, just showing the struggle that uh Thorfinn went through the entire time while he was hanging out or not hanging out, but like in his travels with Aslai and everything that was going on with that and the pillage and everything else. I feel like it would be a pretty decent movie. Especially if you like Viking and Viking culture. So, mm, sure, sure. I think that would be a pretty decent how, movie. How far, where, where would you want to end it as far as... Like, uh, I think that I would probably end it where season one ended, though. I feel like I don't think nah, there's a spot for it. Really? Think so? <laughs> Hell yeah. You do um, the whole season. I don't think it's... That's what I'm saying, but I don't think it's really a spot that you could end it before that part that would make it like... Likely when he fought uh, Thor, the Thorfinn of... the second time, it'd probably be... Right before it, or right at the end of it, when he hit his back. Talking about when his arm was broke. I feel like yeah. that's a terrible ending, though, right? Like, yeah, that's a bad thing. Is a good idea. Ah, that's true. That's true. He did hey, get a sequel. Yeah, you you gotta. Yeah, I wouldn't even think about people. sequels to be honest. But uh, I, guess I think the movie if would we be, do it would go by part. too quick. It would go by too quick if you did the full season. It'll start feeling like Yasuki. Ah, yeah, Yasuki was definitely rushed. So now nah, mm-hmm. I feel that. I feel like maybe there or um. Either that or when Ashley had to kill um kill his homie and he was mad about it, I feel like he get in there too. That's definitely a, a big cliffhanger also to see like what Ashley was gonna do after that. So Yeah, yeah. I can see Yeah, that. either that, that or that when his would be pretty Yeah, good. that or like, oh, when dang. the king uh, when the king was talking about his people, was talking about his moms. One of those two. Mm-hmm. I feel like really didn't know what Ashley was gonna do after that. And I feel like that could be a pretty good uh cliffhanger into another movie. So yeah, either of those two yeah. would be fine, I feel like. I think I'd agree with you on on one of those two being the endings because those would probably lead people into actually want to know okay what what was the king about to say or dang he actually killing his homie why did he do that type of thing you know what I mean mm-hmm. kind of feed them into wanting to see the movie afterwards so exactly. I think that's dope I think that's dope all right well then I guess the last but not least you got me uh in the movie I was gonna. Well, the anime I was gonna choose is, is my hero. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean. Uh, oh, but, <laughs> but what I was gonna choose for this movie was gonna kind of be a, a accumulation of different parts, just to kind of really make it not kind of slow paced as it can be sometimes in my hero. Uh, but in the beginning of the movie, obviously, you know, I was gonna start off with uh, Deku always saying, you know, how he wanted to be this great hero, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I want to actually be able to focus in on a much better part. I don't want to really start from the beginning, beginning of My Hero. So my part was going to actually kind of give like a, what is it, kind of a quick summary of what happened when, uh, spoilers if you guys haven't been caught up in My Hero, uh, when Deku actually fights Overhaul at the last end, uh, the last battle of like season in the beginning? four. No, yeah, when he, like, actually finished fights fighting him, because what I'm gonna do from that part is, once we see that he, you know, has a summary of where he is already defeating Overhaul, we're gonna go straight into the whole part with Endeavor and him being actually in the agency, because there's a lot of stuff that actually happens, spoiler, of course, that kind of leads into the My Villain Academia arc, which I feel like a lot of people would really want to see, and then the throwdown between the heroes and the villains and all the stuff that actually happens khalil knows what i'm talking about but i feel like when they get to see towards the end of the actual mayhem that happens between deku and everything that happens there i feel like the cliffhanger um from what deku decides to do after the battle is over would probably be a really good cliffhanger as far as going into the next next movie Boy, I, I don't know. Have I want to tons of narration. Huh? Yeah, I was about to say that's gonna be a have straight, tons of narration. Straight talking, yeah. no action. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, look, and like I said, the 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 uh, agency part is gonna lead into the my the villain academia where they're actually fighting each other. 
like the action part is going to be all within that part and then towards the end what Deku's decision is is what's going to be the cliffhanger this movie will be 90 minutes I think I like amen I think it's an end game stuff right there. Man, so you just gonna skip all the stain stuff. That's tough. That's all I was saying, right? Why, For an it's introductory it's movie? Just, just, but like I said, I, I would want to do the other thing about a sequel. Than, but the one I he want, think about no I would like to see is this one. That's a prequel. Yeah, Mario said, forget <laughs> it. We jumping right to it. Straight into right. action. Damn right. I oh, love it. I want all the action, all the smooth. That's what I would like to see. I know that movie gonna be trash. Yeah, it might be trash, <laughs> All that backstory, bro. Hey, People gonna get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> the back, like, Either that or you skip it, and they be like, "What the hell going on?" You gotta do like the yeah, old black too. movies do, and just do quick narration in the beginning. No, it can't be an actual intro for Deku because we've already seen it. It's season five exactly. now. We don't want to know about Deku no more. We'll sprinkle in some flashbacks. Exactly I was saying that it was. Oh, some flashbacks. Of, something of the pre of the. Uh, the overhaul fight and then we just gonna lead straight to it uh but so that way we don't get too caught up <laughs> in me talking about my movie um if you guys have any ideas or what movies you guys or what anime you would want to choose to have you know marvel studio production uh treatment let us know in the comment section below you know tell us what your arc would be what you would want to focus on or which character development you would want to be the main focus of your movie where you probably want it to end um if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see us do when it comes to our youtube channel let us know also drop a like subscribe and we will see you in the next video peace all right you just went if you've made it this far into the video i want to thank you for watching today's content i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to share this video with like-minded wonderful people such as yourself and we'll see you next time.